Tuesday, alcohol sales are on tonight's agenda in the city of Spartanburg. The city leaders plan to discuss the issue during a work session, which is after the council meeting. This is not the first time the council has considered this issue, you may remember, but as 7 News reporter Christine Scarpelli tells us, they're taking it up again because the public demanded it. Walk into a restaurant or bar on Sunday in the city of Spartanburg and ask for a beer. You'll be served no problem. Try to buy a case of beer in a grocery or convenience store in the city and clerks like Bishwa Tapa will tell you no. But he wishes things were different. Uh, right now, the Sunday is the slowest days as for business and with uh, alcohol sales on Sunday, that would definitely help us. Tapa says he frequently has to turn people away and even lock the doors on his beverage coolers on Sundays. Other convenience stores we spoke with are required to do the same. Banning alcohol sales is a state law, but cities and counties can make their own rules. People living in Spartanburg and Oconee counties and the cities of Clemson, Greenville and Greer voted to allow alcohol sales on Sundays. Last month we asked viewers in a web poll and 90 percent of people that responded wanted to see alcohol sold on Sunday. Speaking with people in the city today though, not everyone agrees. People that drink, they can buy it other days. How about, how about Monday through Saturday? Are you kidding? Sunday? I'm just opposed to it. So Sunday should be uh, going to church. You should, you should put, put with alcohol on Sunday. You know, they, can, they, can do that. They, they, they can make good money without doing that. Some Spartanburg City Council members tell us they haven't received a lot of negative feedback, but discussions will continue. And they could even put it up for a vote on the ballot this November. For now, Tapa will have to tell his customers no on Sundays, but he hopes that won't be the case for long. Why not uh, the convenience stores, you know, like people who want to go home and drink it, why just have to come to the restaurant and drink it? In Spartanburg, Christine Scarpelli, 7 News. So the history here, the, the city started allowing restaurants to sell alcohol on Sundays in 2003. When restaurants sell alcohol, there's a 2% hospitality tax that goes right to the city. In stores, that tax doesn't exist, so there's no direct financial benefit to the city. 